Hello comic book community. So I thought I'd do a different video today than an unboxing. Um, I recently sold a, uh, a book, Fantastic Four number 17, and this is an ungraded copy, obviously. Uh, I, I generally tend to, to buy and sell graded books, but I do also have ungraded books. And so I thought it would be useful to make a, a video about how I ship ungraded books uh, using Gemini mailers. And um, part of the reason for this is, you know, if you're on Instagram or YouTube, you, you well, obviously you're on YouTube, uh, you, you often will see these videos or pictures of, of books that have been uh, shipped very poorly. Uh, I have also been uh, a recipient of books like that. Um, for example, I've gotten some that have been shipped in, in gallon Ziploc bags with torn backing boards behind them as the only support for the book, or people that you know, I think they think they're shipping them correctly. You know, they'll put them between cardboard, but not actually uh, tape the, the book down at all. So it can move around and then it gets near the edge of whatever container they used and it gets damaged. So for example, I had one that was shipped in cardboard and they wrapped like, it's like half a roll of saran wrap around it, but they didn't put the, uh, tape the book down. And so it ended up over the course of shipping, moving to a corner and then that corner got dinged and even though there was cardboard there, there was then no buffer between the cardboard or the book and the edge and the book got damaged. Uh, so figured I'd do this to, you know, as the way that I ship these to, to maybe help, help this, uh, help out uh, a little bit. So what I do, I, I have, I have everything kind of already just so you don't have to watch me cut tape and <laughs> all that kind of thing. So, so I use this eBay packaging tape for the interior, uh, just cause it's real cheap through eBay as a, as a seller. And I have regular clear packing tape. Uh, I use painter's tape uh, for anything that, that I have touching the book, just because it makes it a lot easier for, the, for it to release uh, and less chance for damaging the book. Um, then I also have two pieces of cardboard that are cut out to a, a, just a little bit larger than the actual size of the book. So you can see here, there's the book and that's how big the, the cardboard is. So I have about a half inch to an inch around, around the, the cardboard itself. In addition to that, I also will have the, the Gemini mailer here that will, will protect the book. So to start, what we'll, we'll do is we'll make what we kind of call like a cardboard sandwich with, with the book itself. Um, so what I like to do is, I mean, we all get so many boxes from Amazon and everything. You just save those boxes, find ones that are big enough uh, that you can cut out a piece that's a little larger than a book. Uh, make yourself a template and then just cut out a bunch of squares that are, or rectangles that are approximately the same size. And so I pick the side that I want touching the book. I, I like to have as few creases or bends as possible. So uh, in this case, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this one. Uh, and so what I do is you take, you know, you take the book and you put it face down on the cardboard. And so we will center it, and then we're gonna take painter's tape, and we're going to uh, attach it to the, uh, to the actual cardboard. Now, one thing that I've, I've picked up over time is that it, it's really helpful to make these little pull tabs uh, on, your, uh, on your tape. So you just take the edge, fold it over, and now you have a little pull tab so somebody doesn't have to try to feel around to find a way to, to, uh, to access the book. And so you, uh, you tape one edge down, try to you know, make sure the book is, is centered. So you tape one edge down, then we'll tape the bottom edge. And then the last thing we're gonna do is we're just going to tape the edge that is, does not have the spine. Um, so the reason for that is that the, uh, the, if you do apply tape there, it's unlikely, but uh, especially with, with real high grade copies of books, there's a potential that you could actually um, add spine stress to the book. So uh, you just tape down the, the side that, that is not the spine. So now we've got this book that is, you know, 
not going to move around uh, from this spot on the cardboard. Then we take the other piece of cardboard, and now we're making that, that sandwich with the book. So now we have you know, something that, that's pretty sturdy that, that's going to protect this book in addition to just the mailer. Because you'll see a lot of times in these pictures, people will have them shipped in mailers, but the book still gets damaged because it, they, they're sturdy, but they don't handle that much pressure. Uh, so what we've got is now I'm now on all four sides. I'm going to uh, attach this uh, these two pieces of cardboard together and Again, I'll make the, the these little pull tabs and we'll start just on on one side and, and work our way around So I've got four pieces of tape cut And then this is just going to ensure that everything is, you know, stays in place, is secure, uh, and to the best of our ability, this book is, is going to, we're going to try to prevent any damage from happening. Because, I mean, the way to think about it, with a book like this, I mean, it's from the early 60s. This book is almost 60 years old now, so it's not like it's new paper. Um, and they're not making any more of these. So any damage that happens to this book is not gonna be undone. And that's one less book out there that's in that grade. And so, you know, I, I think we should try to do everything we can to, to uh, protect these. So now we've got our, our cardboard sandwich. And uh, let's see here. Uh, then what I just, I, I like to do is I just use a Sharpie and I write, Just, you know, little quick instructions onto it and just, just to, so people just quickly see what the, you know, how they're supposed to open this. Uh, it doesn't take any extra time and it, and it helps out. Now, now we've got the Gemini mailer, which uh, looks a little confusing at first, um, but it does fold all up, you know, into the, these, in this, to this box. And so you, you take your, your mailer and that's, I don't know if I can really show it easily, but you're gonna fold it so that it now looks like this. And what I then do is I, just for, this is, isn't really necessary, but it's more just for ease of dealing with it when I'm, uh, when I'm taping everything together. Sorry, I, I, I tape down this edge and then These, these two pieces, or these two edges. So, so now I just I have something that's a flat surface that's a little easier to work with. Um, so the next thing we're going to do, there you go, is we're just going to put this, this book in here. So, so now these uh, Gemini mailers, you can see, have a lot of kind of, they're not quite perforations, but they're, they're, bent, they're perforations here, but then there's just little bends here that are kind of guides to help uh, for sizing different uh, numbers of books, sizes of books that you might use in here. Um, so we'll place this in here and then we'll, you can kind of just fold it up and see approximately which, which perforation you're going to need to use. Then the same thing with the, the bends on the side. You can again see approximately which, which points you're going to need. And now again this is probably unnecessary but what I like to do is I still like to just um, secure the book just a little bit inside the actual uh, the actual Gemini mailer, and you know it doesn't it takes it takes you know half a cent of tape and almost no time and it's not going to hurt anything and it definitely might help so uh, I, I see no reason not to just add a little a little extra here to keep everything in place. Uh, this, I'm especially cautious with these raw books just because I, I really don't want to cause any additional damage. I don't want to you know, upset the, the person who purchased the book. I don't want to damage the book. So um, that's kind of my, my thought process behind it. So then what we're going to do is, and I'm sorry, I meant to cut just a couple more pieces of tape, is 
I like to then tape this down. And again, I use these little, you know, I make pull tabs just so that everything's easy for the, the person who's, who's opening this. So now we've got this tape down. And then the last step is closing everything up. Um, so, so what we're gonna do here is you're gonna add a piece of tape, you know, down the middle to, to keep everything in place like this. And then the, the last thing I like to do, and I, I was watching another a video somewhere where they were, they were talking about Gemini mailers. And uh, one thing they pointed out was that, you know, these ends are open. And so in, in a lot of cases, maybe that's fine. But if something's being shipped and it's raining somewhere, it's being left out on somebody's porch, uh, there is the possibility that water or you know, so, you know, something else, snow, whatever, could get inside the, of this mailer. So the other thing I do is I take a piece of clear packing tape and kind of balance the book here. And I, over the end, I put this, you know, this piece of tape, and then you just, sorry. You pinch it down along the sides, and then this kind of creates these two little tabs on the end. And if you, you flatten that one down, and it just kind of folds in like this. Same thing on the other side, creates little tab here and you just flatten it down on each side and now you've got this end that's that's relatively protected from the elements uh, then we do the same thing on the other side Again, we've got these you know, pieces on the end here, fold them down and over. And now we have a book that is protected inside of a Gemini mailer. It has additional cardboard inside to you know, increase the, the stiffness of this so that if you know, it does have other boxes laid on top of it or you know, you have somebody that's going to try to force it into a, <laughs> into a mailbox or something like that. This should hopefully prevent that from happening and prevent that book from getting you know, any additional damage or anything like that. So, so again, uh, thanks for watching. I hope this helps some people when they're packaging their, you know, any, any ungraded books that they're, they're shipping off. You know, this could be uh, to somebody that you're doing a trade with, somebody you're selling to. Um, and uh, yeah, because, you know, anything that can, can help prevent damage to these books, I, I'm, I'm all for. So again, if this you found this video helpful, uh, if you liked it, feel free to, or please uh, hit the, the like button, uh, hit the subscribe button, uh, leave some comments below if you have some other ways that, that you like to ship that you think are uh, would, be, would be useful for others to see. And um, have a great day. Thanks again for watching.